So today I'm here with Dylan Chambers. This is not his first time here. How many times do you think you've been here? I've lost count at this point. Yeah. I've been coming here for many years. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're like a staple here, honestly. So it's really great to have you here. How would you describe your genre? How would you describe your music to someone who hasn't heard you before? Sure. Uh, I mean, I really dabble in soul music. Um, I think everything that I do musically comes from a, you know, a soul-based point of view. So, you know, to keep it simple, I would just say I'm a soul singer, I'm a soul artist and soul guitar player. Very cool. Um, I see you have your guitar here. Mm -hmm. Is this like your main, like, this is what you play generally. Yeah, it's uh, it's become it's become my go-to for sure. Uh, this is a Gretsch hollow body for any of the music nerds out here. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's great to play and it's it's pretty. So you know, I like to take it out whenever I can. It is very pretty. I like that it's here with <laughs> us. Yes, it's part of the interview. Yes. Why don't you talk about like what's it like being an LA musician? Are you from LA, when did you start? Like, talk about like the music scene a little bit. How has that been for you? Sure, so uh, I moved from Arlington, Texas, uh, where I grew up when I was 18, uh, fresh after high school. Uh, skipped school, skipped college, and just came straight out here just to kind of give this thing a try and, um, you know, take music as far as, as I can. And um, it's been a really, wonderfully crazy ride. I've been here for about 11 years now and I've toured all over the world. I've, uh, you know, initially I was backing different artists uh, on the road, Haley Reinhardt. I went on tour with Dancing with the Stars. Uh, it's, you know, it, I've, I've done a lot of things and um, I'm grateful for, for every opportunity and I'm grateful that, you know, music has been uh, the way that I make a living all this time and I'm gonna keep going with that. So if I turn on like an old episode of Dancing with the Stars, is there any like chance that you'll be there? Yeah, th there's a couple. Um, I didn't play in the band. I, I backed uh, an artist who was also a dancer on that show when he was going through his uh, solo music period. And uh, yeah, you can see there's a couple performances there. You definitely see me in the audience quite a bit. Uh, nice. I was always sitting behind the judges and I would make faces and, you know, Very cool. all that stuff. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Also, I think this is becoming a trend. The last musician, also from Texas. I'm from Texas. Oh, no way. I think there's a lot. There's like a, there's, a, yeah, yeah. Right on. There's a trend. We're coming out here. We're artists. We're, yeah. we're trying to make our way out here um, it's very awesome um, yeah. very cool let's talk some more about your time at MTP how long did you say you've been here again at MTP uh, I mean I think the first time that I played here was probably eight years ago maybe so I've been coming here on and off you know since since then really is there is this like a place where you can make connections is this a place where you've seen some growth yeah absolutely to me uh mtp is a, is a safe place to try things as an artist you know you just have people coming to sit down and, and listen and they might not know who you are and you just try things and you know hope to keep collecting um supporters and all that but um yeah i've written so many songs and then the first time i ever played them was here um that have come out in the world and gone on to do things so you know this has been a good um a good safe space to try things and i've i've been very grateful to uh mtp for having me all these years yeah we're grateful to have you honestly. thank you um let's talk more about your process um Let's talk about songwriting. Sure. What's like your first step, would you say? Or is there even that, like, where do you get that kind of buzz, that light bulb of like, I need to write a song right now? Yeah, I don't know where that comes from. It's a magical thing. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's, it's usually a couple things. I, I don't really have a, a specific songwriting, uh, you know, way of doing it, um, but, Sometimes I might get a you know a lyric in my head. I'll write that down. I'll come back to it. I'm 
might hear myself humming something in the car or in the shower, and I'm like, what is that? And oh, did I, is that, did that just come through me, or is that something that I heard? Mm -hmm. And then I'll take that and, you know, turn it into a song. Um, I usually start with a guitar. Guitar is my main instrument, it's the only instrument I play, so, uh, you know, I'm constantly just fiddling around, watching TV, doing whatever, and maybe I'll hear something there and it'll start a song, so it's, it can be a number of ways. Mm -hmm. Very cool. How long have you been playing guitar? How long have you been? Yeah, uh, I've been playing guitar now for 18 years, um, so it's, yeah, it's been a minute. Who are, like, musician-wise, who are, like, your main, like, this is who I heard that made me want to do music. Okay, yeah. Connect Four <laughs> is popping off. Yes, kids are playing Connect Four over here. Um, so, uh, for me, I mean, I love so many artists and I grew up listening to so much music. Uh, I mean, from like the early 1900s on. So I have like an encyclopedia of artists that inspire me, but nice. some of my main ones are um, James Brown. Prince, Al Green, Elvis, um, you know, Marvin Gaye, uh, in, in kind of more of the current world, Bruno Mars, you know, people like that. Um, yeah, showmen, I love, and that people people that have something to say and, you know, just play, play their instruments and, you know, try to put on a good show and write good songs from the heart. Yeah. Who are you listening to right now? Like, if you opened up your Spotify right now, it would be like... What did you listen to on the way here? Yeah, what did I listen to on the way here? Uh, I listened to Bobby Blue Bland on the way here. I was listening to uh, Ain't No Love in the Heart of the City. Um, just a great, great song, never gets old. What would you say are your favorite songs to cover, either here at MTP or elsewhere? What gets people, you know, moving? Sure. Uh, I mean, I think I started today with Let's Stay Together by Al Green. I just love that song, and it... It always makes me feel good, and I know that everyone knows that song, and I feel like it's a good, good Sunday vibe song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I love that one. I like, you know, playing Valerie, uh, made famous by Amy Winehouse. Um, any of the classic stuff. I'll throw in Prince sometimes. Sometimes I'll throw in Rick James. It just depends on what mood I'm in, and you know, if I'm reading the crowd, okay, mm -hmm. throw something in there that gets them going. So let's talk about what's what's next for you. What do you see? Um, I know recently you released a song with is it Alex, Alex Lambert. Alex Lambert. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't leave me. Yeah. Yeah. So, is that like? Do you like duetting with people? Do you see yourself staying a solo artist? Like, what's what's next for you? you think? Sure. I I definitely consider myself a solo artist. Um, I love collaborating with different artists that I'm inspired by especially in the soul and, you know, kind of pop funk world. Uh, I've collaborated with Corey Wong from Wolfpack, collaborated with G-Love, uh, yeah, Alex Lambert. I have a, a song coming out, uh, Lunch Money Lewis and uh, Dave Kaz. Uh, it's the, the three of us together. Um, so, you know, always looking to collaborate and grow, um, you know, when it calls for that. But, you know, I, I love writing my own stuff and releasing solo music as well. It just just depends, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, where can people see you mm -hmm. outside of MTP if they're like, I just want to see a Dylan Chambers show? Sure. I mean, I've played pretty much every type of venue out here, really. So, uh, you know, the Peppermint Club um, is one um, over in uh, Beverly Hills. Nice. Uh, you know, you can catch me at the Hotel Cafe sometimes in Hollywood. Um, yeah, it just it really depends. But, you know, everyone can check out my dates on uh, my website, dylanchambersmusic.com. Very cool. Shameless plug. Nice. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. If you could tour with anyone right now, mm. what's, like, your dream tour lineup? Right Ooh, now? that's a good question. Dream tour lineup. Um, I mean, like, I saw Silk Sonic play in Vegas, and it was the best show I've ever seen and I've seen that. lots of shows and uh, I mean if I could join a lineup with them that would be great but you know other people that I'd like to you know hit the road with potentially are uh, The Dip from Seattle maybe Alan Stone uh, maybe Leon Bridges uh, a lot of people in that that kind of scene mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes love Leon Bridges me too so good yeah this was great thank you so much for sitting down with me thank you mahogany really appreciate it thanks to melrose trading post for having me all these years really appreciate it lately 
me I've been lonely Don't know what to do I lie awake at night Just howling at the moon Trying so hard to pull her close And I pushed her away Out of all the things I could have said All I had to say simple all along words that I needed to say don't leave me now yeah Lord I'm so broken she let me down fast my one strong sturdy heart is now shattering like glass She was so good to me But I pushed her away Out of all the things I should have said Learned. So I stopped 
and turn it around. I said, money can't buy your patience. No one can save your soul. I've always been, I always be the one who's in control. I can do it myself. I don't need nobody's help. I can do it myself. Oh yeah, I don't need nobody else. Right on, thank you.